Their commitment paid off. Now, it wouldn't be Christmas, would it, without a rom-com in the cinemas. The film Boxing Day is written by and stars Amal Amin. It's set in northwest London where he grew up. Nicola Ford caught up with him last week at a school in Tottenham where he talked to pupils about the importance of following your dreams. Oh, wow. <gasps> what do you think? The lights are sparkling, families reuniting. Everything about this film says Christmas. But it being a Christmas love story, there are plenty of twists and turns. Welcome to London, beautiful. We follow Melvin, yeah. who's at a particular time of his life where he, he's, he's found this beautiful American woman and he loves her and he's, he, he proposes to her in this huge fashion, uh, which goes a bit wrong because she, um, she she vomits on him. See, uh, All right, and and yeah. then uh -oh. she, yeah. uh oh, <laughs> and then um, you know he, he wants to introduce her to his British Caribbean family, um, but what he's left behind is um, unfinished business. Let us say with uh, his ex girlfriend. Excuse me. Lisa. It's written by actor Amel Amin, who also stars in it, and it's set in Northwest London, where he grew up. For him, Boxing Day was the day to party. Everybody gathers together and has a celebration of life. And that's what it's represented in my family for the past decade. It draws on films we've all known and loved, including Love Actually. But what's different about this is the all-black cast. To me, it's mostly about British culture. London and England is one of, if not the most multicultural place I've ever been to on planet Earth. And I've traveled quite extensively. and it, Love Actually and um, a Boxing Day as a collection represents the best of who we are. He's worked with the likes of Idris Elba, but as a young black actor, he knows what it takes. He spoke to kids at Parkview School in Tottenham to inspire them. Sometimes we've got to jump out in faith and actually um, invest in ourselves and our own personal dream. And trust me, there's no difference or very little difference between you and I sitting here. So what did they think? I was really surprised um, by some of the inspirational things he said that really um, inspired me to continue like acting. I thought it was very, very good. Like, see past your race because you are a person and you can make it. His courage was amazing and um, I really think like drama is amazing and like I could do that if I believe in myself. One, two, three. <laughs> So a happy ending here, but as for the film, well, you'll have to watch and find out. Nicky Ford, BBC London. Well, indeed. OK, let's get a check on the weather with Kate.